In the previous video, we learned how to use the Dimensions API to define responsive styles for UI elements. We successfully configured the height, width, and font size based on the device dimensions. Although this works, we do have an issue. Device dimensions can change when the screen orientation changes, and unfortunately, the Dimensions API doesn't dynamically update with these changes. Let me help you understand with an example. I log the device height and width to the console. When I save the file, you can see the different device dimensions are logged in the console. The iPhone dimensions here are logged as 852 for height and 393 for width. Now let's rotate the iPhone device by 90 degrees using the rotate button. Although the device switches from portrait to landscape mode, our app doesn't seem to adapt to the orientation changes as expected. Ideally, the welcome text should also rotate similar to how one would read on portrait mode. Our application doesn't adapt to landscape mode because of an expo setting defined in app.json. By default, the orientation setting is fixed to portrait mode. As a result, our UI is tailored solely for portrait orientation. Let's adjust this to default. Now, when I save the file, press R to restart the server. With the device orientation reset behind the scenes, you will see iPhone window height 852 and window width 393. But with the orientation now set to default, if I rotate the iPhone, the app adapts and the text becomes readable once again. However, the responsive styles don't seem to be working. After rotating, the iPhone's device width would become 852 and the device height would become 393. This change in width and height should prompt the view component's width to change to 70% and the text's font size to increase to 50. Yet, these changes aren't being reflected. The width remains at 90%, which can be clearly inferred, and the text's font size is still 24 pixels, the same as the Android device in portrait mode. The only way to recalculate the dimensions is to restart our application. When I bring focus to the device and press R to restart, you can see the width adjusts to 70% and font size is now 50 pixels. The updated dimensions are also locked to the console. Height is now 393 and width is 852. But this is the drawback of the Dimensions API. The values don't dynamically update when the window dimensions change either due to orientation changes or more complex scenarios such as foldable phones. Of course, we do have a solution to this problem. Let me walk you through the fix. Step one, import useState and useEffect hook from React. Step two, create a state variable that will store the device dimensions when the screen loads. So we invoke use state hook, pass in an object. This will have a key called window, which is set to dimensions.get. Step three, add an effect that listens to changes in the device dimensions and updates the dimensions state value. We will listen to dimension changes using the static method add event listener on the dimensions API and this will return a subscription. So const subscription is equal to dimensions.addEventListener. We listen to changes in the dimension and we execute a callback function. This receives an object from which we destructure window and we call setDimensionsSetter function passing in window. We will also clean up the subscription. Step four, 
we extract the device width and height from the dimensions state variable. So const window from dimensions window width is equal to window dot width and const window height is equal to window dot height. Step five, which is the final step, add inline styles that dynamically change based on the device dimensions. So comment out the two lines outside the component, width and height calculation in the stylesheet API, and the entire text key as well. On the text component, replace the entire styles.text with an object where we set font size to window width is greater than 550, if not 24. For the view container, we use the array syntax to extend the styles. So this is going to be an array, styles.box, and we also specify width and height the same as before in Stylesheet API. Let's also make sure to comment out the console log statement. If we now save the file and go back to our iPhone device, you can see the default portrait orientation still works. But when we change to landscape, the width and font size are adjusted, 70% and 50 pixels. We are able to add dynamic styles to our UI elements based on device dimensions. If you take a look at the code though, it does seem a little verbose, doesn't it? What if there was an easier way that abstracts all of this? Well, there is, and that is what we will be learning in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.